The Mariana Trench, which is the deepest area of any ocean on Earth and is situated in the Pacific Ocean just east of the Philippines, is the place to go if you want to see some of the spookiest deep sea species on the planet. Various estimates place the depth of this abyss at close to 36,037 feet or around 6.8 miles at its darkest point. A crease known as the Challenger Deep. Its location so alien-like that, until quite recently, scientists had little to no idea as to what kind of life forms, if any, would be circling there. And in today's video, we'll talk about these strange life forms that you definitely want to see for yourself, knowing that they exist. From oddly shaped creatures to the most bizarre deep sea creatures ever seen, here are 20 scary Mariana Trench creatures that you have never seen before. Number 20. Grenadier Fish For our first video on what they captured in Mariana Trench surprised the whole world. The Grenadier Fish, which is also called Rat Tail, earns the first spotlight for the day. This fish species is any of the 300 or so species of the family Macariuridae, which means great tail in Greek, that are common deep sea fishes that live along the ocean floor in warm and temperate climates. A large headed fish with a tapering body and a long rat tail that is bordered above and below by the anal and second dorsal fins is a typical grenadier. The mouth is on the bottom of the skull and the eyes are big. The frequently expanded snout is probably used to help dig around the bottom for food. Some species have sound-producing paired muscles linked to the swim bladder, whereas others have light organs. The fish typically ranges in size from 30 to 60 centimeters or 1 to 2 feet. Except for the Mediterranean Sea and the Arctic, Indian, and Southern Seas, they are present everywhere. It is difficult for animals living in an abyss where no light can reach them to recognize, locate, and capture prey. So in order to survive in this setting and get over the deep sea shortage of resources, adaptations are needed. Abyssal grenadiers swim vertically to allow the barbel beneath their chin to make touch with the ocean floor when they are foraging. They may then employ sensory signals to pinpoint their precise locations of prey objects. They can quickly eat food and are the leading predators and scavengers in ocean basins. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Hadal Snailfish the Hadal snailfish, a flabby transparent species, is the first animal from the deepest parts of the ocean to have its genome sequenced. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, and other harsh settings are possible for species to survive because of their genetic roadmap. In the cold, dark, and high pressures of the Hadal zone, living things, especially vertebrates, must live and thrive in ways that are mostly understood. After the fish's genome was sequenced, the scientists looked for hints that would explain the characteristics of the Hadal snailfish, such as its cartilage-based skeleton and its cellular membranes, ability to continue functioning under extreme stress. The Mariana Trench's pressure is comparable to what a person would experience if the whole weight of the Eiffel Tower was supported on their big toe. The fast adaptation of the Hadal snailfish to the deep sea is associated with a number of genetic modifications in its genome. One concern is that typical bones would be crushed by the enormous pressures of the Mariana Trench. However, the Hadal snailfish lacks an essential gene for bone hardening, supporting the notion that a skeleton formed of cartilage is more resilient to pressure. Number 18. Goblin Shark Although the goblin shark has a wide range, the waters around Japan are where it's most frequently seen. In the late 19th century, this is also where this particular species of shark was found. This creature was unintentionally captured by a Japanese fisherman who gave it the name Tengu Zame after being horrified by its horrific appearance. This is a reference to a Japanese mythology monster. The word Zame means shark and Tengu is the demon, although you probably won't notice them. Their large nose and prominent teeth make them easy to identify. Only in fishermen's nets do these sharks surface from the depths, and even then, it's unusual. These critters' elongated, flattened snouts are easily distinguishable from other animals. Large jaws with an exaggerated bite protrude from the face under the nose. Additionally, the jaws are capable of opening almost all the way to the nose. They have remarkably flabby bodies that are long and lean. The top end of the tail fin is longer and wider than the bottom. 
making it substantially longer than the ordinary shark's tail fin. Humans have been captivated by goblin sharks ever since their discovery. In actuality, the reason why most deep sea species seem enigmatic is because so little is known about them, and despite having a set of pointed teeth, humans have never come into contact with them. So you don't need to worry about a goblin shark nibbling at your toes. Number 17. Fanfin Sea Devil It's a sure guarantee that a fish will be weird if it contains the word devil in its name. The sea devil anglerfish does not let you down, it has a long list of fascinatingly peculiar traits. It's difficult not to begin with the sea devil's appearance. With its malformed physique, razor-like teeth, and icy death look, this fish may have swum up straight from hell. As its name clearly suggests, at least they aren't enormous, despite their strange and unsettling appearance. Females often reach a maximum length of 8 inches. At maybe 1 inch in length, males are substantially smaller than females. The sea devil does not dart after its victim as an anglerfish does. Instead, a projection from its brow hangs a bright bait that it uses to entice starstruck, misfortunate creatures. The sea devil has enormous, gaping jaws that can truly consume things that are bigger than it. Number 16. The Deep Sea Dragonfish a fierce predator that lives in the world's deep waters is the deep sea dragonfish, sometimes referred to as the scaleless dragonfish, and its teeth are disproportionately enormous for its size. It is a little fish, only reaching a length of approximately 6 inches, about 15 centimeters. Despite its horrifying look, dragonfish comes in many distinct species. They all look quite much alike. The photophore is a unique organ that creates light. These flashing lights are thought to help fish catch prey and even indicate possible mates in the dark seas. The dragonfish has a broad head and a mouth filled with many pointed teeth that resemble fangs. A barbel is a lengthy protrusion linked to its chin and another feature. This barbel has a photophore on its tip that emits light. The sides of the dragonfish's body are covered in photophores as well. During mating, these light organs might be utilized to alert other dragonfish. They may also be used to draw in and confuse deepwater predatory species. The dragonfish uses its big teeth to catch food as it hunts in the deep sea's gloomy surroundings. It will eat everything else it can find, including tiny fish and crabs. Since many of its prey can generate light on their own, dragonfish have developed unique strategies for hiding from predators after a meal. To protect the lights from being seen while its meal is being digested, the walls of its stomach are dark. Number 15. Barrelite Fish one of the most interesting fish we've ever seen is the barrel eye fish. This fish has a head that is translucent, like a clear glass dome that covers its eye. It's also known as the spook fish and dwells more than 2,000 feet beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Its highly developed eyes, which include lenses and mirrors, enable it to spot prey in even the darkest of waters. The fish's eyes are the yellowish globes that appear to float about in its head. Although they appear to be eyes, the black openings above its lips are actually nostrils. This fish may appear to be right out of a science fiction or fantasy movie, but its unique eyes are incredibly sensitive and can spot prey in the pitch black depths of the ocean. Flat fins of bear life fish also enable them to afloat in the water without having to move. Most people would assume they have come across an alien species given its appearance, which makes it look more like a submarine than a fish. Even marine researchers have trouble learning more about these species, and the likelihood of sighting at one is quite remote. However, the majority of deep sea fish have really peculiar and eerie looks. Therefore, the bear life fish is not the most bizarre animal on the ocean floor. Bear life fish typically measure 15 centimeters or less in length. The clear fluid that gives the bear lice head its transparency appears to focus more ambient light on the fish's eyes, improving its vision in dimly lit aquatic situations. One drawback is that the eyes have a small field of vision. Because bear lice fish often remain stationary until they find their food, experts believe that it is hard to notice them. The fish's ability to look straight up enables them to detect shadows and take appropriate action. Number 14. Dumbo Octopus not just one species, but a whole genus of deep-sea umbrella octopuses goes by the moniker Dumbo Octopus, which are known for having fins that resemble Dumbo, the elephant's ears of Disney's fame. At least 15 different species of Dumbo octopuses exist, and like all umbrella octopuses, they have a web of skin connecting their arms, giving them the appearance of umbrellas when their arms are wide out. The Dumbo octopus is the deepest living octopus species known to science. It may be found in the open ocean at depths of at least 13,100 feet and perhaps considerably deeper. Due to the Dumbo octopus's infrequent contact with predators in the deep water, it differs from most octopuses in not having an ink sac. 
The Dumbo octopus directs by utilizing its webbed arms and ear-like fins to move through the water. The Dumbo octopus belongs to the genus of octopuses that live in the lowest waters. Most species range in length from 7.9 to 12 inches, 20 to 30 centimeters, with the biggest Dumbo octopus measured at 5 feet 10 inches, 1.8 meters long, and weighing 13 pounds, 5.9 kilograms. The capacity to survive in extremely cold water and in the absence of any sunshine is necessary for life at these great depths. Due to their rarity and the size of the deep sea, Dumbo octopuses have developed particular behaviors to maximize their chances of having a successful reproduction once they meet a mate. Number 13. Deep Sea Hatchetfish if you've ever wondered what it's actually like to live deep underwater, take time to observe a marine hatchetfish's pained eye. Yes, when you live more than a kilometer below the ocean's surface, where food is scarce, and you make the perfect meal, you probably aren't having a great time. The hatchetfish nonetheless makes every effort to live in one of the most hostile and competitive ecosystems on Earth despite this. They are divided into 40 different species and range in length from 2.8 centimeters to 12 centimeters. Like many other enigmatic deep sea organisms, they go by a variety of descriptive names, such as lovely and false oblique. Additionally, they have a clever defense against predators that keeps them undetected at whichever depth they choose to travel. These tiny organs that make for a unique light show, which are found on the hatchetfish's bellies, enable the fish to catch a glow from their undersides that precisely matches the color, obscuring them from any hungry eyes below. The hatchetfish can hide behind it everywhere they go, from the deep sea's darkness to the lighter environment higher up. Where they go at night in search of food, it's indeed the ideal cover. This technique is often referred to as bioluminescent counter-illumination, is one of the best known and most widely used types of camouflage used by marine species worldwide. Number 12. Giant Toxic Amoeba the Mariana Trench, the lowest point in any ocean, has been home to enormous creatures known as amoebas. The so-called xenophyophores, sponge-like creatures made up of just one cell like amoebas, are the giants of the deep. The creatures, which are among the biggest single-celled organisms known to exist, are around 4 inches long. The xenophyophores are one of the few biological species found only in the deep sea. Xenophyophores should undoubtedly be among the species that can survive at the deepest point in the ocean. Giant amoebas have been found in the world's deepest waters, breaking previous records by nearly two miles. The amoebas, or xenophyophores, were observed by scientists from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in San Diego using a drop cam at 6.6-mile depths in the Mariana Trench off the coast of the Philippines. According to recent research, xenophyophores may absorb high concentrations of lead, uranium, and mercury by trapping particles from the water, and are likely very resistant to high doses of heavy metals. Additionally, they are highly suited to life in the deep sea ocean's darkness, frigid temperatures, and high pressure. Number 11. Zombie Worm Osidax, often known as zombie worms, are not your usual zombies. In contrast to brains, zombie worms are more interested in bones. The Osidax worms, which range in size from 1 to 3 inches, 2 to 7 centimeters, were found in decomposing gray whale bones on the seafloor at a depth of about 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, in 2002. Since then, more Osidax species have been found. The World Register of Marine Species boasts of at least 26 of them. Mineral bones are not directly consumed by zombie worms. Instead, they are broken down for their internal lipids. However, as they lack a mouth and a stomach, their method of eating differs greatly from ours. They release acid from their skin that dissolves bone and releases the contained fat and protein. The fat and protein are then broken down by symbiotic bacteria found within the worm's bodies. It is unknown how Osidac obtains nutrients from the bacteria. They merely digest the bacteria or nutrients may be supplied to the worm in some other manner. Osidax doesn't distinguish between bones, however, they are most recognized for obtaining some of the last nutrients from whale skeletons that have fallen into the deep. Additionally, they have been discovered living on fish bones and cow bones that were abandoned at sea. Number 10. Vampire Squid Deep underwater in the twilight zone at depths ranging from 1,000 feet to around 2,000 feet, giant squid may be found. 
We don't know a lot about gigantic squid since they are submerged deep in the water. The enormous squid hasn't been observed very much in the wild. The majority of the information we have on them comes from dead squid that was washed ashore or been caught on fishermen's nests. The sole living member of the Vampyromorphida order, the vampire squid, resembles both squids and octopuses. It swims with the aid of ear-like fins just like the Dumbo octopus and can move swiftly thanks to its jelly-like gelatinous body. Additionally, coated with photophores, vampire squid may produce patterned light displays to fool their prey. This grotesque monster can draw the webbing between its tentacles over its head to conceal itself if it feels threatened. The vampire squid is an extremophile that lives in the dark 2,000 to 3,000 foot deep ocean. Unlike most of its cephalopod kin, this protective deep sea Dracula does not discharge ink when threatened. Furthermore, because it lives in the deep ocean where little light enters, color changing is a useless tactic. It cannot do it as its cousins in shallow water can. An abundant cloud of sticky bioluminescent mucus is instead squirted by the vampire squid in the direction of potential predators. Number 9. Frilled Shark The long, thin bodies of frilled sharks give them the appearance of an eel with fins. They are also referred to as living fossils since they are a member of a species that has endured for millions of years with minimal modification. Despite having 25 rows of teeth in their mouth, frilled sharks are said to prey more like snakes than other sharks. These sharks may carry their young for up to three and a half years in their wombs, according to scientific observations. Additionally, frilled sharks feature a groove between a pair of thick skin folds that run along their belly and are of unclear purpose. Female frilled sharks also have substantially larger midsections than male frilled sharks. The huge livers packed with low-density lipids and decreased, weakly calcified bones that give frilled sharks their ability to hold their position in the water with a minimal effort make them extremely adapted for living in the deep sea. Additionally, they are among the few sharks having an open lateral line, where the mechanoreceptive hair cells are arranged in grooves that are open to the surrounding salt water. Sharks with this structure are regarded to be the most basic, which which may increase their sensitivity to little movements of nearby prey. Number 8. Fangtooth Although the adult of this fish, which has a suitable moniker, is little and only grows to a length of around 6 inches 17 centimeters, Fangtooth possesses an adaptation that allows it to seal its mouth despite having the longest teeth in the ocean relative to body size. When the fish's jaw is closed, special pouches on the roof of its mouth stop the teeth from penetrating the fish's brain. It is one of the deepest living fish and has been discovered as deep as 5,000 meters, although it is most frequently found between 500 and 2,000 meters. It spends the day in deeper parts of the ocean and migrates to shallower water at night to eat. Adults eat fish and squid and younger smaller fangtooth fish filter zooplankton from the water. Named because of their spooky teeth, which are the biggest in the ocean relative to their body size, they seem like something out of a horror film. Due to their poor vision, fangtooth fish are said to hunt by actually bumping into their prey while also detecting vibrations and movement in the water. Number 7. Telescope Octopus the telescope octopus is an elusive deep-sea octopus that dwells in tropical and subtropical areas of the Pacific and Indian Oceans at depths of between 500 and 6,500 feet. Because it's the only octopus with tubular eyes, it's called the telescope octopus. They are around 8 inches long, with arms making up over half of that length. Another species of deep-sea octopus, the glass octopus, is thought to be related to the telescope octopus. The telescope octopus floats with deep ocean currents in contrast to other octopi, which flutter about on the bottom. Instead of crawling on the ocean floor, this species spends most of its existence floating in the water column. The telescope octopus is more elusive to deep sea predators because it swims horizontally rather than hanging in midair. The gelatinous translucent flesh of the telescope octopus makes it difficult to notice without close inspection. This trait, which the glass octopus also possesses, prevents the telescope octopus from casting shadows making it more difficult for predators to spot the species. The animal can also quickly approach unaware prey because of its translucent body. The telescope octopus's tubular eyes and digesting glands are its sole discernible body components. The fine webbing in between the telescope octopus's tentacles also gives it a peculiar ghostly appearance. Number 6. Gran Rojo Jellyfish There are various reasons why these jellyfish are exceptional. First, they may dwell as far below the surface as 4,800 feet. They are also hardly observed by people. According to Smithsonian, their scientific name, Tiberonia Gran Rojo, is derived from the MBARI's ROV Tiberon. However, the jellyfish wasn't found until 2008. 
This huge jellyfish has a maximum diameter of almost 3 feet. Due to the depths at which they reside, these jellyfish are rarely seen, but they are distinguished from other jellyfish by having 4 to 7 limbs. They are employed for capturing prey. The jellyfish's bell is crimson, as are these lengthy, fleshy oral arms. Most people will think of jellyfish when they see anything with a big, round head-like form. The jellyfish is thought to have certain essential characteristics to other jellyfish, despite being rarely observed or researched. For instance, experts think it lacks a brain, bones, eyes, and even a heart. It's primarily made up of water. Number 5. Black Sea Devil Anglerfish The anglerfish gets its name from the way it attracts its prey using bioluminescent protrusion. The moniker Black Sea Devils refers to their ominous look and often dark skin. Greek words melanos, which means black, and cetus, which can either mean whale or sea monster, can be used to translate the family name Melanocytidae. Anglerfish, like the black sea devils, have a luminescent projection on their heads that is known as an esca. They use this as a lamp to attract prey, then pounce on them with their powerful teeth. It's believed that it's because of their large lips they can really consume prey that's larger than themselves. Black sea devils are globose, generally scaleless, and have a big head. They also have a cavernous, oblique mouth with a full set of menacingly enormous pointed glassy teeth that resemble fangs. And if this fish appears familiar, it's because Marlin and Dory are ambushed by a fish that looked similar in Finding Nemo. Number 4. Ping Pong Tree Sponge So, this is a flesh-eating sponge that resembles a tree and appears to be coated with ping pong balls. Once more, we discover that the depths of the ocean provide a startling validity to all forms of crazy. Elvis is undoubtedly fighting the resurrected Hitler down there as well. The majority of the ping pong tree sponge's height of about 50 centimeters is made up of a slender stalk. Its peak is a strange arrangement of ethereal globules on stems extending from a core body. It seemed to have been some type of gelatinous explosion that suddenly stopped. It seems like one of the coziest explosions if there are such things. However, those globs are not quite as delicate or spectral as they appear. Spicules, the tiny structures that make up a sponge's skeleton, cover the swellings. They have a hook form in this instance. Small crustaceans that come in contact with them become stuck because the bristly hairs on their bodies adhere to the hooks like Velcro. The ping pong tree sponge breaks down its meal piece by piece. The crouching wretch fades away on a transparent whiff-off ball without a stomach or any other type of digestive canal. This sponge can thrive on the arid depths because of this slow-motion terror display. They are located in the Pacific Ocean at depths of around 2,700 meters as far as I can tell. 88, 60 feet. Anyhow, I thought ping pong was supposed to be more fun than that. Number 3. Sea Cucumber This tiny echinoderm belonging to the Holothuraidea class is called the Sea Cucumber. They are marine creatures having skin that has a leathery feel. On the seafloor all across the planet, their lengthy bodies are visible. There are over 1,700 Holothurian species around the globe. However, they are mostly found in Asia and the Pacific. Some of these are found at the Mariana Trench's depths. They got their name because of how much their form resembles a cucumber. Sea cucumbers are occasionally harvested for a human food. Although they are crucial to marine ecosystems, they clean up their environments by decomposing debris and other materials. The majority of sea cucumbers live in the deep water, although some also exist in the shallows. They reside on or close to the ocean floor, occasionally partially buried there. Number 2. Gulper Eel Consider the strangest, spookiest, or most awesome monster you can imagine. It's likely that the water already has something familiar, and such species most likely inhabits the deep ocean. One of the most peculiar deep-sea creatures is the mystery gulper eel, also called the pelican eel. The gulper eel has a long, thin body that waves back and forth as it moves through the water, giving it a typical eel appearance. They belong to the Angeliformes order, which includes 800 species of real eels, including moray and garden eels in addition to other true eels. The gulper eel's enormous mouth, which gave rise to its name and was perhaps the first feature you noticed about the animal, is thought to only contain tiny crustaceans. The eel presumably does not even consume huge fish due to its extremely small teeth. The large mouth may be an adaptation to allow the eel to eat a wider variety of prey when food is scarce. It can also be used like a large net, 
The eel can swim into a large group of shrimp or other crustaceans with its mouth wide open, scooping them up as it goes. The gulper eel is also known to feed on cephalopods, squid, and other small invertebrates. When the eel gulps its prey into its massive jaws, it also takes in a large amount of water, which is then slowly expelled through its gill slits. Gulper eels themselves are preyed upon by lancet fish and other deep sea predators. Number 1. Viperfish its fangs are enormous, as the name suggests, and cannot fit within its mouth. Instead, they are sharply back toward the fish's eyes. The viperfish is believed to impale its prey by swimming towards them quickly while using these sharp teeth. On their dorsal fin, they have a long lure with a photophore that lights and draws prey. According to scientists, viperfish chase down their prey with great speed and crush them between their formidable teeth. Additionally, viperfish has been seen hovering still while displaying their bait above their heads in an effort to draw in their next prey. And that's all for 20 Scary Mariana Trench creatures that you have never seen before. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think about today's video. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!